Hey, my name is Scott, and this is your weekly communication for July 3rd. We have a lot to get to in this video, so we'll start with this Sunday, July 3rd, 8.30 and 10.45 are our two gatherings. We would invite you to gather with us in person if you are able to. We'll have worship. We're going to gather around the Lord's table for communion. And then Pastor Brian's going to be preaching out of Titus chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. So again, if you're able to join us in person this Sunday at one of our two gatherings, we'd love to have you gather with us. If you aren't able to gather with us in person, 1045 is the, our live stream on Facebook, YouTube, or on the church website. In between the two gatherings at 945, our adult electives are gonna be kicking off quarter number three. So all new titles and subjects are gonna be uh, kicking off this Sunday. There are two exceptions, the authentic class and the salt class are gonna be kicking off next Sunday, July 10th. But to see what is being offered, head over to gbclive.org backslash electives or you can find the paper handout at the Welcome Center. Now, if you haven't been plugged in in one of our electives, we would encourage you to see what all's being offered. And if something is of interest to you, we would encourage you to plug in this quarter. Or if you are attending one of the electives, but another class is offering a subject that you find interesting, we would encourage you to you know, try out a different elective. Uh, it's just great to be able to mix throughout the church, get to know some new people, and to sit under some different teaching. So that's this Sunday as well. Finally, this Sunday, after the 1045 gathering, we're heading out to the Wells Farm for our church picnic. The church is providing all of the food, so all you need to do is show up. We want to thank everyone who pre-registered. That really helped us get a grip on who's going to be there and how many we need to, pre uh, to prepare for. So we want to thank you for that. We also want to take this time to thank everyone that helped set up the picnic, and we want to advance, thank those that are going to be helping tear down. We really do appreciate you being willing to serve in that way. Now, the picnic itself, there is going to be a ton of fun. Kids, bring your squirt guns. It's going to be a beautiful day, so food, music, activities, uh, it's just going to be a lot of fun, so we'd love to see you this Sunday. But a really important thing that you need to know is that there is a detour in getting to the Wells Farm. The detour is at the bridge at Seldom Seen Road. You must come in through the East Loop via Tell Power Road and Lock Mountain Road through the East Loop and turn right at West Loop Road at the foot of Lock Mountain Road. There are PennDOT signs that are marking this detour, so be on the look for those detour signs. There is an alternate route, which is to run Lock Mountain Road all the way from Frankstown Road. Follow this until you turn left on Shaw Road at the West Loop Missionary Church. So we are really looking forward to the picnic this year, and we hope that you'll be able to join us. Moving into missions, we have a team over in Slovakia right now preparing to teach an English camp uh, this upcoming week. So be in prayer for them. Uh, we, we just pray for safety. We pray for uh, health, that they would stay healthy. And we pray for opportunities for them to share the gospel with some of the, the kids coming to camp and even some of the helpers that are helping out. This year's camp is looking a lot different than in previous years. Uh, and one of the things uh, that's different is there's going to be some Ukrainian kids that are going to be attending the camp this year. They've been displaced from their home in the Ukraine because of the war. And so we just ask the spirit to soften their hearts and, and open them up to hearing the gospel. And, and we just pray that they would come to know Jesus as their savior. We have another group of 11 folks that are gonna be heading down to Kentucky with Samaritan's Purse to help with uh, rebuilding from some of the natural disasters down there. That's again on July 10th. So again, be in prayer for them as they're heading down there. Uh, they're gonna need some safety. They're gonna need protection. Um, and again, we just ask that the Spirit would provide some gospel opportunities for them while they're serving down in Kentucky as well. Uh, moving to calendar, we have a couple of dates uh, that you may want to put on your calendar. The first is July 17th. We're holding a baptism class. So if you are looking to be baptized, uh, this class is required for that. It is going to be at 945 July 17th. It is in a different location. It is in room 104. So room 104 is where the baptism class will be held. It is not in room 301. So you can sign up at the Welcome Center or on the Church Center app. Another date is July 19th. It's a Tuesday, 1230. The senior saints are going to be holding an ice cream social in the small water room, and you can sign up for that at the Welcome Center. 
Finally, August 17th, we're holding an all church gathering, seven o'clock in the worship center. This is gonna conclude our summer activities. So we'd love to have you gather with us August 17th in the worship center at seven o'clock. Also, just a reminder, throughout the summer on Wednesday nights, we have our Wednesday night activities at the building. Kindergarten through fifth grade gather. They have a sports theme that they're working through with a, with a fun activity and a lesson each week. And then our students are also meeting uh, throughout the summer. And then we have two Bible studies for adults that are available. You can head over to gbclive.org backslash summer to see everything that is available. And then one last thing is, for anyone who participated in VBS or wanted to participate in VBS, we have a feedback form that we would like to have you fill out. So again, if you wanted to participate in VBS but weren't able because of scheduling, we'd like to get some feedback from you on, on how we can improve scheduling for VBS. Or if you did participate in VBS this year, we'd like to hear your feedback as well. So that link is in your weekly email. So you can just click that link and fill out that information. And that would really help us as we begin planning VBS for next year. That's all we have for this week. Thank you for your time and patience. And we hope to see you this Sunday.